Thursday, March 27, 2015. This male, not neutered cat, around uh, how old is it? Three years? Yeah, three years. Three years old. Was treated by one vet about two weeks ago for bladder obstruction. After treatment for around four days, the cat went home but still passed blood in the urine. Then the cat was treated by me about seven days ago with antibiotics and uh, subcutaneous fluid. He went home two days after treatment. There was no more blood in the urine as I've used different antibiotics, but the uh, owner was not able to feed him. He had no appetite. So the owner tried for three days or four days, and the cat was, was already in a bad shape, lying down, not able to stand up, dehydrated, and uh, at, at the ulcer in the tongue, and the right side, upper gum, and the right uh, lip commissure. Now, two days after treatment, with intensive drip, this ulcer at the commissure of the lip is less, and uh, on the upper, on the gum, behind the, the canine, the ulcer has gone. Now, you open the mouth to see the tongue. There's a tongue ulcer, which uh, now open, we need to see the tongue, the tongue ulcer. The central tongue ulcer about one centimeter. No way. That, that was the reason why he couldn't eat. See where they are. You can still see the ulcer. The ulcer is still there, but not so 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 painful. So the cat can eat. Okay. So after two two days of uh, 200 ml of subcutaneous fluid, including amino acids, vitamins and uh, antibiotics, vitriol and genomycin. This cat looks good today. He had passed some motion and ate some of the canned food. He did pee and there is no blood in the urine. Important thing is that he has recovered his own appetite. As uh, two days ago he was really dehydrated and not able to stand up at all. So it's a good news. This is a, a patch given by the, the other vet when they do the catheterization of the cat. The vet believes in giving a patch there, probably a painkiller patch while they were doing the bladder obstruction relief and uh, now, they send the cat home with cavi locks which did not stop the, the passing of blood in the urine. So I had a urine culture and uh, there was a bacteria which was resistant to cavi locks and so that was the reason why the cat was still passing blood in the urine. X-ray showed the bladder was much and the kidney kidney was enlarged three to six times as in an, another video and other than that uh, the the vet already had had done blood test showing that uh, the cat had nephritis and uh, high white cell count so it, this was quite a serious case of FLUTD resistant to antibiotics actually although the cat was catheterized and uh, no longer had bladder obstruction after four days at the vet but uh, it continued to pass blood in the urine and his bladder was swollen and hard as well as his both kidneys were enlarged x-rays confirm this and uh, even after two days here and no blood in the urine the cat still refused to eat so the owner force feed 
and you can see the ulcers on the right side and the tongue ulcer as well. Anyway, so after they couldn't do it for three to four days, they sent me down here two days ago and uh, <coughs> intensive subcutaneous fluid with amino acids and vitamins and different antibiotics. Two days, about 200 ml per day. You can see that the cat has uh, recovered. As on the two days ago, his temperature was 35.6, which is below normal. Yesterday was 36.5, also below normal. So today, temperature and blood pressure should have gone up since it looks pretty good. What's the temperature? We'll take the temperature. We'll take the temperature afterwards. March 25, 2015. Kept with complicated or complications of FLUTD. Top of your vets, Singapore.